Hello guys and welcome to a new unboxing video. In today's video I receive another scroller box and I'm going to open that with you today, see what's inside and think about some art that we can make together. So this is how the scroller box looks on the inside. There we go, and we are going to check out what's in it. Ooh, enjoying the feeling. I have no idea what it can be, honestly. I just feel like one pen could be here, so I don't know which material we are going to play with today. I love a good challenge, and then we check out what's in here so we're gonna pre open this one first you ready guys i'm not sure which month i ah, see may 2022 and it just arrived today which is uh, almost the end of may so i'm new to scroller box subscription so if you guys are subscribed with them uh, can you let me know if it's normal that your uh, month subscription is actually arriving towards the end of the month or it's just because i'm new and it's been confusing uh i don't know but it's just weird that may it comes toward the end of the month but i don't know maybe it's normal let me know guys so okay so i'll bring it in one at a time and the first thing first we have a sweet that my partner is going to enjoy. I'm not a sweet person, so I'm not eating this one. We have, ooh, we have a kneadable razor, and I'm super happy because I don't have any of those. I actually have just one very old razor, and a part of me was thinking to change it already, but I'm super glad that I got this kneadable razor. I didn't have it. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Uh, so this is a eraser for graphite, charcoal, and pastel. And I'm happy that I get to receive items that are new and that I don't have. So I'm not just receiving uh, things that I have already. So flow, flowing figure, that's our month challenge. And I love that you can post it in Instagram as well. And uh, yeah, just get to show your art <laughs> to the public. And it say also what we're getting. I may need this one. So this is the needable eraser. We have this. The, uh, uh, okay, well, I think it's a pencil. Yeah, it's a mechanical pencil. It's a Panther Side FX mechanical pencil. And once again, very happy I don't have one of those. And there is already uh, the thingy, how it's called inside, is already here. And it looks like a very sturdy, robust one. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's quite thick compared to a normal pencil. So I'm really curious how the grip is going to feel. But yeah, and it's weird because all the mechanical pencil I see, they usually have the click on the top and this has the click on the side and it's 0 0.5 millimeter automatic pen. So could you still work with it? I never sketch with uh, uh, a mechanical pen so we have a very curious interesting brush that is brand scroller box number eight and it has like a pointy tip but a robust one a thick one so this is called a zan custom anglet brush anglet no ingold ingold brush sorry my english guys Zan Custom and Gold Brush. I think that's the right way of saying it. Maybe not. Okay, I can't put it back. Next one, a beautiful pastel color sticker. 
it feels really nice and I love the combination of color it's very elegant and it's very flowing yes that's the sensation I have it's very flowing and it's the theme of this month's challenge so let's see how we flow so I have something else that I have no idea what this is no idea uh, where's no what's this peerless watercolor sheet pack of 12 cast of it's watercolor I never seen something like this honestly is this watercolor seriously watercolor sheet how, how do you do that how do you use that okay guys do you have you ever used a watercolor sheet how do you use this but we have some, oh, that's so weird. We have some beautiful color, I have to say. Put this on the side. Look at that. Very pastel, very nostalgic, antique color. Yeah, it made me really think of some old time. Look even at the stamp. This is a pickle blue, so it will leave you the name. As well, a mountain gray. We have some, I don't know, can see properly. And wow, look at this! It, it really makes you feel of past time. Wow, the colors are beautiful, they, they're just so amazing. Look at that. Wow, I, guys, if you ever work with a watercolor sheet, you have to let me know how you use them. So I guess I'm going to have to read the inst instruction before to start today's work because, you see, that's what I love of a mystery art box. You never know what you get and you really get to challenge, challenge yourself to learn using new medium and you never know where you're going to fall in love so this is this month's um, leaflet i will explain you a little bit how it works and i will take some time to go through it and to understand what i do beautiful artwork as usual what we have then we have the artwork of this month that is stunning honestly i love this work it's made by arlisha yetzer so beautiful beautiful artwork i'm very very impressed i i, I just love how everything is flowing around and i also have a a5 watercolor paper we have should be 10 sheets inside and the fill is really good really good not too thick not too thin but kind of yeah i think it's gonna be perfect for today work so guys this is all we got this month and uh, yeah just gonna read the instruction organize myself and see how to use these watercolor sheets and all the material i've been provided with and i have to say i haven't started yet but i'm already so so happy with this month's box it feels just like out of fairy tale for me all right so it's time to get started the first thing i will do is to swatch all my supply just to get confident with that and also reading all the instruction i realized that this pencil right here is also uh as its own large 
uh, eraser right on top and this was the reason why i could not click uh, from the top so it was a it's a very complete pen as also on the side um and the pocket clip for uh, in perfect for slip into any pocket so i think this pencil is perfect to use at home and on the go as well it's got its own eraser it's on uh, pencil inside and it's on a pocket clip so i taste both the eraser as well and it was uh, uh, the kneadable eraser was definitely the winner it could uh, delight this pencil so so well so yeah very happy with that now it was time to swatch my watercolor and the interesting thing about this watercolor they have the uh, name on one side but the um actual uh, pigment is right on the opposite side so this swatching will actually be essential for me when it comes to uh, later on color because uh, once you drop water on the sheet you cannot really keep flipping uh, up and down so i will actually use uh, this uh, swatching as essential guide for me to to know what i'm actually getting because if you look from the opposite side the pigment uh, has not really much to do with uh, the pigment that you get in the end sometimes it's a bit more similar but sometimes not so i needed this guide uh, in super essential and uh, i also want to mention something about this um, brush that I'm using that I discovered is actually a German brush and is super high quality and it's perfect for detail and for brush work, wider work and the good thing is even if while painting the uh, tip separate once you put in the water the tip always come back together so the quality seems to be really really good of course we will put it to the test um, but yeah honestly very impressed once again uh, with the content of this box so I'll, um, one more thing is that in the book they mention that uh, all these artwork can actually art supplies can be actually very good for on the go art uh, like if you go in a park uh, or on the street on the bench wherever you like um, uh, can be really good to carry with you and i do think the pencil and the brush they can be really really useful but i do struggle to understand how this um, uh, watercolor sheet can actually be simple to carry around with you because i had to lie them out on the table and it actually took some uh, space and um, yeah once it gets wet you cannot really keep putting them one on top of the other so um if you guys use this watercolor sheet on the go if you have any advice with me let me know also as you can see my finger they are uh, very um, messy <laughs> to use so i did get dirty all the time uh, quite a lot but that's come with the with the job so i don't mind about getting my finger dirty um i also test them by mixing the color and actually it's possible despite being just sheets you can quite easily mix them uh, mix the color and uh, yeah and uh, you can uh, i think if you're good in art you can make beautiful artwork but as i said many times i just a art lover um no uh through artists i just enjoy making art and uh, discover art supply and i'm sharing this passion with you guys so don't be too judgmental about my final artwork it's a journey it's uh, yeah that's what it is so let's move forward time to start to actually do our artwork of the day where the team is flowing fig figure i had to think a little bit uh, about what 
kind of figure I wanted to um, do so I decided to just catch quickly on this same page before to move and do um, my artwork on another page so i didn't want to do uh, um, another head because the artist did that and uh, also i just finished a head uh, video last week for you guys so i wanted to have something different and when i was thinking of flowing figure honestly i can just think about uh, birds they are like flowing in the sky or over the water or just uh, flipping their wings and for me that was the flowing figure idea that i had so i decided to do this beautiful peacock i'll um, this is the reference picture i use and uh, i start I just did a quick sketch then i did a quick sketch on the actual paper and that was what inspired me and what i decided to go for after making the proper sketch on second paper i used the kneadable eraser to uh, remove my pencil work and just leave a fine uh, trace on the background so i can work with the watercolor on the top of it and as you can see guys the pigment of this watercolor is just stunning i was so impressed every single color on this sheet it was absolutely stunning the pigment was strong was elegant was nostalgic i i think like a i think those have become my favorite art supply in a very short short amount of time and honestly i feel like in this artwork the color is everything the sketching is just a base is nothing to do with the actual quality of the work but just using this color i think i I needed, didn't need to do anything else, like the vibrancy of the color spoke for itself. There was a little bit of detail work that needed to be done and that was in the eye area, beak and crown. And uh, I this was the first time I would actually test the uh, brush for detail work. And I have to say, uh, this is something that requires a bit of practice. I struggle to get uh, a very detailed result. I didn't know how to angle uh, the brush for the best result. So I think this is just practice on how to hold the frizz with this brush when you try to uh, get a fine result and here was where I get to mix a little bit of color as well just to practice a bit of mixing and um, yeah and I get a very vibrant orange that I really didn't have in my uh, color mix provided the last thing that was left to, done, uh, to be done was to take care of all the detail uh, like I focus a lot on the eye and on the plumage creating some detailed work with the tip and try to increase also the vibrancy of the color. I also uh, try to add more flowing to this figure and I add uh, branches on top and uh, leaf that it's actually very uh, flowing around is more based on the color choice than on anything else i hope you guys enjoy and like the final result as i said it was the first time for me to try watercolor sheet and to work on a let's say commission work uh, but let me know in the comment what if you have a watercolor sheet uh, how do you use them any advice it's 
uh, really um, appreciate and if you like this month's Sclorer Brosk it was stunning for me and I am very happy that I got to explore new supply like I think I will never get to go out and buy this kind of art supply on my own because I will be probably too scared and frightened and confused about how to use them and if I can do anything um, good with that I think naturally we tend to stay in our comfort zone but with this uh, sort of uh, um, art boxes we get to challenge ourselves a little bit more and uh, yeah guys so if you like uh, um, art unboxes uh, um, mystery art box uh, and if you like art challenges this is the channel for you make sure to like subscribe comment interact with me uh, and um, that's the way youtube knows uh, that to suggest my video to other people as well i would really appreciate that but anyway i will see you in the next video for now i hope you enjoy and uh, um, see you next time bye guys